When I think of my homeland, I remember that long, bitter winter. I remember the biting cold, and the soldiers fighting to the last man. As I lost my home, I lost my hope, and with them my name. Without those things, there was nothing, and no one left to care. <laughs> How can I help you, Mr. Soldier? Hmm? A civilian? I'm following leads on a missing persons case. He might have passed through here. Mind your volume. My younger brother is sleeping just over there. So please, a bit of quiet if you don't mind. I see. Sorry. I'm looking for a missing friend. One who's like family to me. <laughs> family? Friends? What a sad burden to have. They'll all suffer and die, leaving you to mourn them. I'm sorry to have bothered you. I'll be quiet and be on my way. I said you can't go through here! Huh? Was that... Were you in the military? Why is it that all of you soldiers stubbornly charge at everything in your way? Keep rushing in so hot, you'll die just like he did. Huh? What's that? Guile! <sighs> Colonel! Chasing your tail out here alone again? Or was there someone else with you? Huh? I think it's time you gave it up, Guile. I don't want to believe it either, but all our searches turned up nothing. That may be, but if... Nash is dead! But you're still breathing. Honor him by living your life. I understand. Such pathetic dogs. Disgusting! It's because of them that the world continues to burn in the flames of war. Worthless men using hopes and dreams as kindling. The world weeps under a blanket of bodies. But then... Like an angel, he came to me. What is thy name, child? I have none. Where is thy country? It's gone. Then I shall forge one. The country of God. It could be thy new home. Siring every nameless flower. Bringing forth a thousand years of peace and harmony to all. If you desire it.
I guess you've woken up. Charlie Nash, you will dedicate what's left of you to him. You've been granted a divine purpose. A worthier calling than any soldier. And you should be grateful for the privilege. Ha, ha, ha.